Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Welcome if you're new. Thank you if you're returning. This is a new series on the channel, so hopefully you enjoy this and you like this. This is for singles who's coming towards you. And we'll look at who, when, where, how, what advice for you. We'll get a couple zodiac signs. And it'll also be kind of fun and see what kind of energy we get and uh see what may be coming towards you or who may be coming towards you in the future. So uh, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me. Tons of stuff there. So please, please do go check that out. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel in any way that you have, whether you've liked, shared, commented, subscribed, uh, donated, reached out for personal readings. Any way you support the channel is truly appreciated to help the channel grow and flourish. It is fairly new and being a part of that really means a lot to me so thank you thank you thank you all right so Taurus let's see who may be coming towards you for October or after October you know so for Taurus singles all right I hope everyone's doing well happy fall happy Halloween all right Taurus 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 the zodiac oracle here so we'll just get a couple See if we get a couple signs. See what comes out for you, Taurus singles. Spirit, please, Taurus singles. What may be coming toward Taurus singles in the future? Either October or there on after. What do we have for Taurus spirit, please? Thank you so much. Just a couple of signs, a couple of cards for Taurus. Okay, pulling that one. This one. All right, see what we have for you, Taurus. We have Libra and Cancer. So we have water and air energy. Water with the Cancer, air with the Libra. So two possible signs that may be coming towards you in the future. All right, so this deck here, I want to see what kind of person this is, who this person is, what their energy might be like, what their personality might be like. Uh, coming in towards you see what we get Taurus single spirit please thank you so much who is this person coming into Taurus that may be coming into their life that they may meet run into incoming person what is their energy like who is this person spirit please thank you so much wow I'm not taking these it's too many wow so we have angel of strength and to me this is always reminds me of the Leo card so now we have like another sign. So it could be um, now we have Leo and we have Cancer Libra. So I'm going to take the energy of the card though. The main two signs here though are Cancer and Libra. Someone who is very strong, who has a lot of drive, ambition. Uh, they go after what they want with a lot of um, courage, bravery. They have willpower, stamina. They can hold back when they need to and they can push forward when they need to. Very feel a very strong, sorry about the glare, very strong personality, I feel. All right, and they may be someone that could be like your rock, your, you know, you know your foundation, very strong personality there. Hopefully that's a good thing and uh, not a bad thing, but we'll see. And I notice here um, 50, which is five, so this could, person, fives are about change, could bring a lot of change into your life. All right, so with this deck here, let's get a time frame. Let's get like what time of year, that sort of energy, see what we get. What could be the possible time of year that Taurus singles may have this incoming person coming in, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, we have two, but well, I'm just gonna take the top one. So we have the 10 of summer. So this is summer, <laughs> obviously with the 10 of summer. So, and I know summer is just ending um, today, actually, today is September 22nd. So, I mean, could be next summer, but it says here, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust, but I'm taking the time frame. And cancer here is water, which is summer energy. So could be next summer for some of you. 
And I know that seems like a long time away, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so this deck here, let's see like where, where may you uh, run into this person? Where, 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 where spirit? Where may this person run into this person, meet this person, have this incoming person come in? Spirit, please, for Taurus singles. Where, where, please, for Taurus singles. May this incoming person come into their life. Builder, your, your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So this person, maybe like next summer, this person is a construction worker. You know, very muscly construction person, whether, person, whether you're male or female, watching this doesn't matter. They are, there are female construction workers, so it's just energy. I've had someone comment, I don't specify if the readings are for male or female. They're for everybody. It's all just energy. So it could be next summer that you uh, see this construction worker. They may be working on a house in your neighborhood. They may be building a new uh, building or something uh, in the city. It could be somewhere where they're, you know, building a new construction and you happen to, and it's in the summer and you happen, maybe you're out, you know, in nature walking and you go by a construction site and you connect and you see this person. It's like, they see you too. It's like, they're looking out to the distance, like, who, who's that person? And you're looking at them like, well, who's that person? So, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. All right, so. Let's see how, that kind of tells it there how, um, that is where, so that is sort of like, like on a construction site of some sort or something like that. Uh, all right, so how, how will this person, how will you come across this person for Taurus singles? How, how? How, how, how for Taurus Single Spirit, please, for October or there on after. Thank you. Okay. Wishing well. So again, uh, they, they could be working on um, pipes in the city, some sort of like construction worker or um, utility worker or something like that. And they could be working on uh, the water system, they could be, and I know this sounds like weird, but they could just be like working in the city somewhere near water, or maybe they're working on a construction site uh, near water somewhere. Or maybe it's somebody that comes to your house and puts a, works on your well, or something like that. Or it could be somebody coming to a neighbor's house and doing something like in their well system and you kind of run into this person, you know? So this is a wishing well, 41, five, again with the change. And I think when you see this person, you're gonna be like, wow, who's that? They're kind of like someone that I've always wished and hoped for in my mind, like who I envisioned my person to be. And it's like, there they are. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Let's see, what kind of connection would this be? What kind of connection would this be? It's like you see them out on the distance, they see you. Um, they could even be working like out in um, a field or someone's backyard, or, like I said, working on their well system or something like that. And uh, you're like, oh, ooh, you know, they catch your attention. Somebody very strong, I mean, see this guy's a builder, is very muscly. Very strong. It's in the middle of winter, 10 of summer, so it's very hot. May they may not have their shirt on. And they look like an angel. You see an angel here and an angel there, and you're like, wow. <laughs> There's, you know, that's the fairy tower, so you see angels there, uh, wings there too. So let's see, what kind of connection would this be? What kind of connection? And it's so funny too because um, the well here, water, water sign again with cancer. So, what kind of connection, if you connect with this person, 
This may not be for everybody. Please keep that in mind. This is just sort of a fun reading. So what kind of um, connection would this be if you connect with this person? Huh, unrequited love. Well, I don't like that energy. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this rela relationship going. So unfortunately, it might be just a visual attraction um, with this person. And maybe once you get to know, I mean, they look like your wish come true, uh, a dream come true. But, uh, and it's a very strong, maybe a very strong physical attraction, but that's all it may be. I don't know. Let's get one. Well, you know, I'll clarify with tarot. I'll clarify with tarot. Um, let's see. All right. So let's get your advice. Let's get advice for you. Let's get advice for you. Let's get some advice for you in this Taurus. Some advice for Taurus singles. Taurus singles for October. Advice for Taurus singles. Advice for Taurus singles. Here, please. Thank you so much. Advice for Taurus singles. What do we have? Be assertive. So, so if this ends up being just like a physical attraction, a mutual attraction, and you're feeling that's all it is, like there's not really, there's attraction, but there's not like really love, maybe you're just going to have to stand your ground and be assertive and say, you know, uh, I don't know, you know, Stand your ground, be assertive, tell them, you know, I don't, either you don't want to go on like that or, um, or unless you just want to have that sort of relationship, that's totally up to you, but there's a need to be assertive in this connection for some of you, recover it, yeah, so some of you may be assertive or they may be, may be very assertive, but this is your advice, so um, it's to be assertive here, recovery, so I feel like, you know, even though there's a lot of physical attraction, a very strong physical attraction. Um, but I don't think like it's gonna be like, there's gonna be love here. Or one may feel feelings and the other might not. So somebody will need to be assertive, it may be you. And then you may need to recover from this if you feel like, you know, you have feelings for them and then, you know, you know they don't for you, but it's just a physical thing and you don't want that, you're gonna have to be assertive. And then you will have to probably recover. So it's up to you. Uh, if this, if you feel like this happens to you, or you come across this, it's up to you if you want to um, get involved with this. Again, this may not be for everybody. All right. So let's clarify with some tarot. Let's clarify with some tarot. All right, let's see. Let's just see what comes out here. All right, what do we have for Tower to clarify this incoming person who's coming towards Taurus Singles? We got the Ten of Cups again. Ten of Cups again with the Ace of Swords. Wow. So let's see if there's any more messages for Taurus Singles. Nine of Pentacles. There's that single energy. And the Queen of Cups. And the Sword Energy is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So some of you may... Now the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Actually, some of you may run into a Cancer sign first and think they are the one. Or it could be just a Water sign. And then, like, you see the truth and clarity of the situation here with the Ace of Swords. This is, um, you know, truth, clarity. And it's a new beginning. So you may think, um, you know, and here's the Ace of Cups, which is the water sign. So we have the water here with Cancer, and we have the swords here with Libra. So I'm feeling like, and then the Ten of Cups of Gen, which is total fulfillment, happiness, and joy. And so I think... This water sign, uh, you may run into a water sign first for some of you and think this is your Ten of Cups person. But then you're going to see the truth and clarity of the situation that maybe it's just a physical thing. Because the Queen of Cups here also can be male or female is that Queen of Cups energy. Again, Cancer. 
And I think you're going to feel like, oh, this is my person. This is my person right here. But then you're going to feel, okay, I thought it was my wish dream come true. It's a very strong physical attraction, but that seems like it, that's all it is. Someone is not going to have, someone's going to feel unrequited love in this situation and see the truth and clarity of that. Could be you, so you're going to be assertive. You're going to um, put your foot down and then have to recover from that. And then, you know, you're still going to be single with the Nine of Pentacles energy. But, you know, you're strong, confident, stable, grounded, single energy again. But then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, you will come together eventually with somebody and have this Ten of Pentacles energy, which is uh, happy home and family life, long-term commitment, building for the future, sharing everything together. So, and it could be an air sign, because this is Libra Gemini Aquarius, so that's the Libra. So let's see if we can get who will be the Ten of Cup Pentacle person for you Taurus singles. For these Taurus singles. Too many? For the Taurus singles. Taurus singles. Who is the Ten of Pentacles person for Taurus singles, please? And that is your energy. Taurus, Pentacle energy. You got 910. So who is the Ten of Pentacle person? The Eight of Cups. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're gonna walk away from a water sign. You know, maybe a mutual, like I said, a mutual attraction. And then, you know, things will come to light. You know, the moon energy, uh, things eventually will be revealed and come to light. Okay, you know, I see the truth of clarity. It's just unrequited love on one side. It's just a physical attraction. So I'm back to being single. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So you will have somebody but who is this Ten of Pentacles person? Who is this Ten of Pentacles person for Taurus singles that may be coming Taurus in spirit, please? Thank you so much. The Four of Swords. So there's the air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So there's the Libra. So, I mean, you may run into a Libra and say, you know what? Uh... I've had to recover because you got recovery here from this first person. I've had to spend time alone, heal, recover, you know, rejuvenate, regenerate here, heal. And then all of a sudden, here comes my Ten of Pentacles person, which is the air sign, which I think you may be un unsure because you're still healing, recovering there, you're alone. But now we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I think this person is going to be a lot more stable and grounded and want long-term moving forward to give you the Ten of Pentacles. And some of you, it's not going to be this water sign. You may meet the water sign first and then meet the air, uh, air sign. And that's going to be your Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles person. Okay, Taurus. Um, if this didn't resonate for you or whatever, that's fine. You can, um, I'll create a playlist and you can uh, check past readings down below in the description box. And um, you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. Um, I do four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. Um, so thank you so much for watching and good luck to you in your situation. Yeah, here's the King of Cups again. So now we have King and Queen of Cups, which can be divine counterparts and equal exchange here, uh, balanced exchange. So even though that's two water signs, I feel like whatever the next sign is you run into is going to be your very balanced soulmate uh, energy. Will it be equal give and take in the relationship? All right, so Taurus, thank you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. Good luck to you, and I hope to see you next time. And as I always say with my channel, is always, always shine your light.